My mother and father wanted a family, and the two sons that came first were Tom and Verl. Both have severe hearing loss. And the doctors at the time came to my parents and said, don't have any more children. In fact, they said, you got to institutionalize these boys. My mother immediately said, no way to that. Just imagine the faith that they both had to know that they had more children to bring into the world, despite what the doctors were saying. We had a little schoolroom at the top of our house. Every day, my mom would be there with Verl and with Tom, speech therapy, working on their sounds, and I'd never forget how hard she worked. We knew that we didn't have any money to go out and just buy hearing aids, so we had to come up with some scenario in which we could make some money. And because we were little barber shoppers, we said, hey, let's go out and sing a song. Some people threw change on the floor that we'd go pick up during our performances. But anything we could find, we put in a little fund to be able to buy hearing aids for our brothers. My mom, she wanted to form a foundation, the Osmond Foundation, to raise money to not only help her two sons have hearing aids, but she also wanted to help other kids who didn't have hearing aids. With the inspired help of a few others, we eventually saw we could help children beyond the deaf community. The name was changed to the Children's Miracle Network, and my sister, Marie, taken the lead. That organization has now raised over $7 billion for children all around the country who need medical care. Back in 1983, my brother Alan and I offered up the Osmond Studios to help televise their first telethon. It's just been an amazing thing to watch. From the very beginning, we as a family wanted to make a difference in whatever we did. I am so overwhelmed after 62 years to know that maybe we made a little difference in the world. But it all started when my mom and dad decided that they wanted to make the hearing impaired world their mission. And that is why the Osmond Brothers got started. When you think your plan is set in stone, don't be surprised if destiny doesn't take over and move you in a different direction. Mm -hmm.